All right, Shalom I'm to the nation of Israel and to the hopeful elect. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechak, Radash. <clears throat> uh, Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Bahashim means in the name. And Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay, I want to give double honors to my elders and my elder apostles of a great millstone, time of this truth and on down. Peace and blessings to you, brothers, and to you, Akimim, that's how the pushing is truth. All right, it's the brother Barakim from the Jimmy's Branch out of Des Moines, Iowa, coming back at you with another video inspired by the Holy Spirit. And uh, as you can see, the title of this lesson, it says, uh, uh, Lean Upon Him. All right, and, uh, you know, that's pretty much what this lesson is going to be based upon, you know, just always leaning upon and trusting in Yahweh Bashim El Shah, you know, and... Um, Really, you know, this lesson was inspired by uh, by the uh, the sit down lesson that we did this past um, Sunday. You know, the spirit like the wind that we usually you, that we usually do on Sundays. You know, and uh, you know, uh, pretty much mentioned about you know just always trusting in the Lord in any situation that we're being brought into. You know, and um, you know that's pretty much the vocal point of this lesson. So, you know, uh, Lord's willing, this lesson is edifying. Probably won't be too long. But uh, I'm going to let the spirit <clears throat> do what it do. So this is uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 26, and starting at verse 3. It says, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed, uh, uh, whose, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Okay? And ultimately, that's where... Listen, bro. The Lord is always going to keep us in peace, which is, you know, because we get peace through, the, uh, through these words, man. You know, these words uh, allow us to... To stay clear minded, to stay calm, you know, when we're when we're going through anything, you know, whatever the hell that we're catching, you know, these words keep us in those that, uh, that, that peace, man. You know, but it's all it all goes back to having faith and trusting in Yahweh Shemel Shah. That's why it says whose mind is stayed on thee. OK, so when you go into the word stayed. All right, it goes into to lean, lay, rest, support, uphold. OK. And the Lord is, is is our support. All right, He's our He He's the one that upholds us. All right, it's a precept real quick that I'm gonna grab. I forgot how it's worded. Just give me a second. Uh, it's in the Book of Psalms. Oh. Yep, this is Psalms 37 and verse 24. It says, "Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down." For the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let me actually, uh, let me grab the, the totality of that. Because I, I think it says something else above. It's like it. Uh, no, it wasn't this one. I think it was the other one. Uh, you know what? I, I'll just read this. This is uh, Psalms thirty-seven and verse twenty-three. It says, "The steps of the of a good man are or, are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand." All right. When you go into the word uh, "upholdeth," it's a, it's the same uh, uh, Hebrew word. I believe it was a uh, shema or a uh, sama. Let me see. Oh, Samak, Slakia. So Samak, all right, which says to lean, lay, rest, support. All right. And that's what the Lord uh, Lord is. He's our support. He's our, uh, uh, um, you know, like uh, how, you know, elderly people, they use a cane when they have to walk or right? because that's their, that's their support. OK, it's the same thing with us, man. In the spirit, man, the Lord is our uh, spiritual spiritual cane. OK. He upholds us when we fall. Well, it says that a, a righteous man falls seven times. All right, but he get it up again. And the way that we get up is, is through Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shah. All right, that upholds us. Okay, when we're uh, when we're uh, at a low spirit, and the Lord is the one that 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 puts us in that spirit, and He's the one that can bring us up out of that spirit, man. Okay, when we fall into temptation and we fail, you know, we fail certain uh, uh, um, certain tests, you know, so to speak. All right. The Lord is the one that that lifts us back up, you know, to where we don't drown in uh, 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 in our sins, you know, for lack of better words, man. Uh, let's go back to that Isaiah. Oops. Uh, 
uh, yep, uh, Isaiah 26 and verse 3 again, it says, though, it says, though, will, it says, thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. It says, trust ye in the Lord forever, for he is the Lord. Yahweh is, it says he is the Lord. Yahweh is everlasting strength. Okay. And because it's, uh, yeah, it says Yahweh is everlasting strength. All right. And which is going to lead me to the to the next precept, man. This is the book of um, Proverbs. Damn, big ass fingers. This book of uh, book of Proverbs, chapter eighteen, and verse ten. It says, "The name of the Lord is a strong tower; the righteous runneth into it and is safe." All right. Hey, so hey, so so Yahweh Bashem Al Shah is that strong tower. All right. Well, and those are the the true names that we call upon, man. All right, the, the true names of the Heavenly Father, which is Yahweh and the, the, His only begotten Son, which is Yahweh Shah. All right, those names ha uh, holds power. All right, those names hold weight. All right, we're not giving praises to uh, 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 what is it, uh, 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 the ATTP, whatever you know, uh, those other camps say, you know, or or, Mo or Most High Christ Bless or whatever, you know. No, we're not saying that. All right, we're giving praises to the true names of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. Okay. Because those names are our strong, are the strong tower, okay. But not only calling upon those names, but also having faith and uh, and, and walking in those names as well, walking in the reputation of those names, man. Okay. That's what that's what makes those names a, a, a whole weight, man. Okay. From there, let's jump to the book of uh, Psalms, chapter eighty nine. In uh, verse 18, it says, For the Lord is our defense. The Holy One of Israel is our king. Okay? Going back to that uh, uh, that, that Proverbs, man. A strong tower. All right? A defense. Okay? The Lord is, is our defense. He's the one, he's the one that's going to defend us all right, in the times to come if we trust in, if we trust in him. Okay? We got to always remember to trust in Yahweh Hashem El Shai. It don't matter what, what situation it is, man. Just trust in the spirit. All right? Or, or, or listen or take heed to the spirit, you know, taking heed to the, to the spirit, you know, is important, you know, but, uh, let me see. Let's jump over to, uh, the 94th chapter and, uh, verse, verse 16, it says, who will, who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Unless the Lord had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. When I, when I said, my foot slippeth, thy mercy, O Lord, held me up. And it says, in the multitude of, the, of my thoughts within me, thy comforts delight my soul. That's right. Oh, so, it's, so it says, uh, going, uh, reading verse 18, it says, thy mercy, O Lord, ha held me up. Okay. So, you know, once again, it's all through the Lord's mercies, you know, that we're not swallowed up or that we're not devoured. All right. It says that uh, that we are not appointed unto wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. OK, so but we have to believe these words, man. All right? We have to believe and trust in the, uh, what's written, you know, that's leading the point. That's that's the support. OK. That's the support that we have, man. All right. But it says, uh, verse 19, it says, in the multitude of my thoughts within me, my, uh, it says, thy comforts delight my soul. Okay. All right. And we, and we have the comforter, man. All right. And the scripture talks about uh, uh, comfort, you know, one another uh, with, with these words, man. Okay. We can actually, uh, well, no, we ain't got to grab it. You know, it says, it says, comfort, comfort ye one another with these words, man. Okay. So this is how we're comforted. This is how. We're uh, uh, able to be uh, uh, stable. All right, this is how this would allow our minds to to stay upon Yahweh Shem El Shah, man. Okay. Uh, um, let's grab this in the book of uh, Philippians. And another point, you know, because it says uh, the book of Psalms, it says, "Lo, he comes in the volume of the book." So our comforter is uh, is our Lord Yahweh Shah, man. All right. Once again, going back to staying upon him or right, leaning upon him because he's going to be the one to help to help to help us up or right, to hold us up. All right. And be our comfort. Be our guide, man. 
Okay. But uh, this is the book of uh, Philippians. Chapter four. And verse 13, it says, I can do all things through Yahweh Shah, which strengtheneth me. All right. Once again, he's our he's our comfort. All right. He, he's our support. All right. He's our strength. He's our defense. He's our everything, man. All right. He's all he's all that we need, man. All right. Can't nothing. Uh, uh, can't nobody in this world give you what Yahweh Shemal Shah has given us, man. All right. The Holy Spirit, man, the spirit of truth are right? the, the true comfort. All right. Of course, you know, brothers, you know, have different small comforts, you know, when, uh, when it comes to uh, different things, you know, brothers like to go to the gym or, you know, go to the court, shoot hoops, you know, hit the bag a little bit, you know, to let off some steam. But, hey, our true comfort all right, is the words of Yahweh Shem al Shah, man. All right. But um, I'm going to grab this. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 7. In verse 19, it says, Wisdom strengtheneth the wise more than ten mighty men which are in the city. All right. So it says, uh, um, yeah, it says, Wisdom strengtheneth the wise more than ten, ten mighty men which are in the city. All right. Which shows you how, how powerful this wisdom is, man, that we have, man. All right. This wisdom literally makes us strong, like strong minded. All right. It literally makes us stable. It literally, uh, 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 we're not moved by bullshit that we, you know, deal with. Of course, you know, it's a process that we're going through, you know, to achieve uh, uh, perfection, <laughs> you know. Uh, that's why it says, uh, let this mind be in you, which is in our Lord, Yahweh Shad, man. All right. A perfect mind. All right. Uh, I believe it's uh, the word uh, teleos, man. You know, being men. All right. Which comes with uh, being mature, man. All right. This is what we're, this is, uh, this is part of our upbringing, you know, which is going to lead into, uh, actually, uh, us actually being perfect, you know, as a whole, man, you know, to where we're never going to, uh, commit any offenses, you know, commit sins, so on and so forth, man. We're going to be, man, we're going to be mighty. All right. In the kingdom to come. All right. But while we're on this side, we still, we got a long ways to go, man, you know? And, you know, uh, every day is a, a, a new day to improve, you know, and anything that we're, you know, that we're lacking in, you know, to get better and get better and get better, you know, to be better servants, to be a better brother, you know, so on and so forth, man. And it's all through your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, man, which is our wisdom. All right. So, you know, with that being said, Lord's willing, this lesson, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rechak, I want to give the honor to my elders and my elder apostles of Great Millstone, telling the truth and on down. Peace and blessings to you, brothers, and to you. I keep not the truth. All right, until next time, Shalom.